ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Hi, it's Joel Norman, the voice of your Lincoln Stars hockey team. Tune in to 93.7 The Ticket every Tuesday night from 8 to 9 p.m. to hear the latest on the Stars with myself, head coach Rocky Russo, and special player guests. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes, so go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today. A powerful force for good, that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. What's the radon level at your home? Don't know? Find out with a call to Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating. Make sure your home is safe with a radon check from Bryant. If you've already tested, ask Bryant for a free estimate for mitigation. Once completed, you'll get a report showing how much safer your home is. When it comes to radon, call Bryant, 467-1111, for testing and mitigation. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and dental insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. Use this body shop or our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Houston's Body Shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended Houston's Body Shop. That's who we are. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time, on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska Gaming and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty in pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Matt Knight, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. Eustace Body Shop, where our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. 
If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Houston's Body Shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended Houston's Body Shop. That's who we are. Hi, schoolers. Unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association, and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds, napping high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds, and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures, napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami in his history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20-10, touchdown! Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This first hour is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the global headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. We survived the eclipse. What, was that ever a question? Were, there was, were, there were, were, there were, were some, you concerned about dying? There were some people that were <laughs> no. that thought it was in the end of the world. <laughs> Earthquakes in New York. Just the hysteria by some, you know, it, it usually the, it gets the loudest, you know, kind of your squeakiest will mentality but i didn't think anything about any mass hysteria or anything like that um in fact i forgot it was even going on at first i didn't it, notice it it got a little shady for like it did 30 minutes maybe. I, was, I was in yeah. my i was in my office yeah. and i noticed like i said it got shady. so yeah. i went out and i'm like yeah obviously i have the right glasses so i could just kind of glance you know i didn't look yeah. at it but we had people that you know, had some neighbors in their driveways and things like yeah. that looking up with the glasses on and uh etc it was cool man to see it on the news uh because yeah. it is something that i mean Heck, like you mentioned, next, you know, you'll be 43, Nick. You know, I'll be, me and Raph will be 70. Lord willing, we're still alive. <laughs> there you are. You know, but so it, I, I get why some people like, I'm not, you know, some people always like, I don't know, some people just negative about everything. It's just an eclipse. Well, it actually, it's pretty freaking cool when you think about it. I mean, the moon covers the entire sun. And yeah. um, I think it's pretty cool. To, yeah. I mean, I think, like I said, it's something that where it's, it's very rare. Um, I thought it kind of, um, the the coolest one I thought was in uh, uh was up in uh not Vermont but up in Maine where where mm-hmm. it finally ended up in the United States as far as that goes I was seeing a bunch of clips of that uh last night and that was I thought that was pretty cool man just yeah. to see it you know like I said there's there's a guy that I forget where he's from he's 105 years old and he's watched a number of, I don't even know the number what they said but he's watched a number of eclipses since like the 60s or something like that Jeez. 50s and he's seen a number of eclipses that took place. You know, so I think it's cool, man. Yeah, I think it's cool. Now, I'm not fly, hopping on no airplane to go to yeah, a I'm spot not going to go watch. to Texas, and I'm not going to yeah. go there. Stuff, you know, yeah. but to each there, there's a lot of folks that also uh, wouldn't hop on a plane like we wouldn't in a heartbeat to go play golf in Ireland if we had the opportunity. Okay, you make a good point. You make a good point. True, you know, true. it's, it's to each, I always say it's to each their own. You know, some folks really get a kick out of it. Some are just kind of like, oh, that's cool, whatever. But 
no, I, it's 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 a cool phenomenon to be able to take place and see something like yeah. that, man. But yeah, I, I think we're all marked safe from the eclipse. Yeah, yeah. all good. You know, well, I know done. I know optometrists right now are going money, 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 yeah. money. Exactly, exactly. You looked into the eclipse. Money, because dude, from what I understand, it doesn't take long for you to jack your eyes up pretty quick trying to look up in a circle without the glasses on. Yeah. Would you do something like that, Nick? Just no. look right at it. No, <laughs> no. I, I, my eyes are so sensitive. I can't. I don't do anything. I don't. I have. I have fine vision. I don't need glasses or anything. As I right glanced now. up for a brief second, but, but I'm still blind. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Text line: If you want to watch the eclipse, or you are you are you a big fan of the eclipse? Let us know, yes or no. You're a big fan of the eclipse and what's going on. Like I said, I'm not a can say my huge fan, but I think I think it's something cool to watch though. It was cool to see it, man. I'm holding on for Haley's comment one more time. Oh, check this out. Twizzler says, I don't know if, I don't know if story is true, but there is a woman who stared at the sun and hurt her eyes doing so. She wants to sue Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Twizzler, as sad as it is, I do believe it, man. I do believe it in this litigious side of weird right now to where sue people will sue for anything right now. She purposely looked up there and it's like, I can't see now. So who are you gonna sue? You know. God, you're on trial. <laughs> God is like, tell me something I don't know already. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, yes, indeed. You guys, we got a great show for today. A um, lot of basketball to talk. Also, some. I want to get something far as Husker from you guys, man. You know, the big things about quarterbacks. I'm like, Nick, are you going to practice today? I'm not. I yeah. wish. I, I, I. Some other things popped up. Mm-hmm. Can't go. Okay. So, uh, Raf, you going down to practice? <laughs> I didn't get my invite again. Coach Rule, still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it's, I'm it's, not going. Yeah. I, you know, the last time I've been to a practice when Bo Pelini was the coach. You should just trot on down there. No, I have no desire. Let's to go, go today. Mm-mm. I have, you know, and it's just, just, him. All, just him. All, I mean, all we have to do as wow. I, I know. Is, Thanks, Nick. Friend. Well, I'm not sure what, what other, but, but I know as four players, all we have to do is go down there, tell them our name. They give us a badge. You got to, you got to email. You yeah. know, 24 hours. Email them, no. Email one of ours. You guys, this sounds bad. I have absolutely no desire to go to a football practice. Yeah. Absolutely. They're none. fine. Yeah, I have no desire to go to you, practice. You probably get to see more than we do, so. I still have no desire to go to a football yeah. practice. <laughs> yeah. Like have, you say, though, too, it's until you see it on the field. Yeah. I mean, I, you can go to practice. You can watch. You can watch, 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 and they yeah. look sharp as day, but then you go up against some other competition and change. There's a change on yeah, game day. I guess the only thing that would be cool to see, I will go down there sometime soon to see the facilities, though, because it's been a while, about a year since I've been down there. I do want to see the new that's facilities. What I wa- see, that's what I want to go Yeah, through. I do want to check out the weight room. I will go uh, down there and do that. But you know, I will. To go around and uh, watch practice, I'm just, I mean, teach their own. That's just not my cup of tea, man. Yeah. Don't care to see it. Uh, but I do want to see the new facilities, which I will go down and do that and see some people, you know, I guess in the academics office and, but far as coaches, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I've met those coaches briefly. Don't know. There's only three are. left. What's that? <laughs> people, you know, there's like three. Yeah, left. there's not many left. You know, obviously Dennis is down there. Know a lot of people in the academic department. Keith. Uh, obviously Keith Zimmer and those guys. I'd go see those guys, but I just is I, Scott Bruton still there? Yeah, yeah. All right, Scotty's we still good. there. Scotty's still there, man. Yep. East Martin. Grad. Yeah, yep. Scotty's yep. still there. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk some football. Here's the one thing since we've been talking quarterbacks quite a bit, I want to get you guys' opinions on this. I want to know Nick, Raf, and I think AG's in the yep, house. Too. He's in the house. I want to know who we're talking about. Raiola, okay. Um, who are your top? Who are your top three quarterbacks in your life? In your in your all time list, Nebraska. I want you to think about that in our lifetime. In your, in your lifetime that you uh-huh. actually got to see play, okay. or you know, what? let me take that back. Not actually seen play. Just your top three, Nebraska football okay. history. Your top three quarterbacks. Text line, let us know right now. Uh, real fast, uh, Dustin and uh, Lake Alfred, good morning to you. He goes, we did not see much of anything with the Eclipse here in Central. That's crazy. You didn't see it in Central Florida. But I guess that wasn't the pathway, though, either, though, through there. Yeah. Uh, it had to, the, the main part, the pathway. Yeah. There. It was we just, didn't see, I mean, we didn't see a ton we, here. No. It was just shadows. It was a shadow we saw. It Dust- got much darker in 2017. Yeah, yeah oh, because yes, we did. were in the pathway. We were totality. We were, yeah. yeah. We were totality in 2017. <laughs> in the pathway. Dripping Springs pathway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. So, Dustin, and Alf, uh, Dustin, I think you guys may have caught maybe some a, a little shadow of it uh, maybe going on. Crow Bay, good morning to you. He goes, I was excited for it and it was cool, but at the same time, I'm glad all the hype is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, mm-hmm. But I tell you what, who had benefited Crow Bay big time, those small towns made some money. Yep. Along the whole, the, along the whole trail, the pathway of it, man, they made some loot. Towns of thirty, forty thousand, you know, tripled in size. And in three hundred. Now, are we? 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I no, go on. Go on. Sorry. I was gonna say like at one place in um I think it was in Arkansas, three hundred and fifty couples yeah. got married. <laughs> Yeah. Big day. Yeah, 350 couples got Gotta married. Got to get married on eclipse. eclipse Day. Of course. I'm getting married on an Eclipse Day. When's the next one? Seven years. 2043. Oh, yeah, I better no, not do 20 that. Years. 20 years. 20 years. Oh, yeah. yeah, you'd be 70. I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Dog, dog house. Yeah, I hope she ain't listening, bro. No lie. <laughs> if so. Eclipse, I'll shoot you an Eclipse. <laughs> I think those trips to Bama might be short now. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Just joking. I thought there was one in like six months. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> wow. I, I, was, I was gonna say you're digging yourself Back into a farther hole. How about, how about we just change the yeah, subject? Yeah. 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 So now, time frame on so it. So when we're talking quarterbacks, are we talking about just your top three abilities? quarterbacks? Abilities? Are we are your we combining three, with winning? Your just, your three. Three. just your top three quarterbacks. The top three we've seen play. Yeah, I'm, you don't have to have seen play. Before. Okay, my number three is going to shock some people. Okay, your Tanner top, Lee. Just your top three quarterbacks in Nebraska. Like, uh, let, uh, Sam Keller. Text line, let us know what exactly. yours is. <laughs> uh, Sanderson, what's up, brother? In 2017, Beatrice was packed. Bill Nui was there. Yes, they, Beatrice was absolutely yep, Bill swarmed uh, when it happened in 2017. So let us know, what's your top three Nebraska quarterbacks? It doesn't have, have to be your lifetime. Your top three Nebraska quarterbacks. We'll discuss that. At the 9 o'clock hour, we come back. Of course, there was sort of a big game last night. We'll discuss that. And also, man, who does Arkansas use to take over? I mean, who does Kentucky use to take over for John, uh, for JP? JC, I should say. It's the drive. It's Tuesday morning. It's sunny. We'll be right back, folks. It's 93.7 a ticket. Seven the ticket fox kfxl weather sponsored by john henry's plumbing heating and air conditioning you're looking forecast for today we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds happening high around 67 tonight mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40 and tomorrow we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures and happening high around 70 i'm meteorologist kyle Becker for 93.7 the ticket and the ticket fm.com Used to spotty shop or our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended used to spotty shop. That's who we are. Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and digital insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at gainatrucking.com. At Union Bank. People don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 Five six zero sixty one ninety seven. 
Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you're passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today, a powerful force for good that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. School tells you all about the four seasons. Spring, summer, and so on. And then there's a way we really tell what time of year it is. Sports seasons, football season, baseball season, or even off season. Well, what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now, of course. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated. It's time for the chocolate season, y'all. 40th and Old Cheney. Or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. See you there. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds in the low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Tuesday. It's beautiful outside today. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> IQ crew. <laughs> I concur, you mean? Yeah. IQ crew says. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, I, I, concur. Say, I, goes, I concur. <laughs> I do concur what IQ crew said. It goes, not sure what the fuss is all about with people freaking out over a few minutes of sunshine. I remember one time when Kid Rock didn't see the sunshine for three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Been peeling up on beep beep. <laughs> oh, man. Bones, what's up, man? Good morning to you, brother. Coolest eclipse was 2017. I took off work early. Took my son and, uh, son and daughter to Salt Dog Stadium. We're having a baseball game. Then it stopped during the total 
totality eclipse and then resumed afterwards is very cool something uh, we will never forget and you know what bones they won't forget either man that's pretty cool right there man that's dope yeah. i love that i love that you guys i tell you what there was a game last night that if you're a purdue boilermaker fan you're not loving it uh, when i was in indianapolis oh uh, back in i think it was january early february when i was there and when I was sending the pictures back to you guys, they had the all-star court in the airport, a basketball court in the airport, and they were advertised for the all-star game. But anyway, in that audience, tons of Purdue Boilermaker fans. And I mean a lot of them. So I can only imagine how they were feeling last night and this morning. Uh, that game last night um, got lost. In fact, we, we sent the text out last night to, all the, to, the, to the crew here <coughs> before the game. And uh, RAF score was 84-78 UConn. <clears throat> Uh, Nick said, I think Purdue wins 78-72. <laughs> well, well, that's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> um, AG said uh, UConn 90-85. And, of course, the final score last night was, uh, make sure I get this right, 75-60. to 60. Nick, you had a 75 part, right? Well, almost. Yeah, almost. I, I mean, here's the thing. I, I thought that, you know, through 25 or 30 minutes of the game that Purdue would have more than one three-pointer. The whole game, bro. Yikes. Yeah. Their the defense. whole yeah. game. Yikes. They were just they just guarded the perimeter so good. Well, and I and I thought that, that the way Purdue was gonna win that game was if if Zach Eady and and Donovan Klingon, excuse me, just kind of net each other out. Yep. Where where it just kind of it was equal. Okay. You you guys do your thing, but guess what? When Zach Eady scores, what was it like 15 or 17 more points than the whole team combined? Then mm -hmm. yeah, you got an issue. Here are a few numbers. I want to get you guys inputs on these. Cause these are the things that, that I remember Nick, I kept sharing. We all kept sharing that this is yeah. going to be an issue. Okay. Look at this. Here's a scoring for, uh, for Purdue. Ren had four points. Edie had seven, uh, 37, 71, <laughs> 37 <laughs> points. Smith had 12. Think about that. Smith had 12. Jones had five. Heidi had two. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to read that Lawyer again. Lawyer shut out zero. Lawyer Nothing. had zero points last night. Yeah. Wren had four. Edie had 37. And Smith had 12. Jones had five. Heidi had two. Lawyer did not score. Hmm. Well, I mean. It, but you, Heidi's two were really cool. Though. Yeah, that was, was a nice cool. dunk. Yeah. Good. Better that was a dunking contest. It would have been Don't, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget also, I mean, like, against no. Nebraska, excuse me, Nebraska, Mason Gillis came off the bench and drained, like, five or six threes against Nebraska. He was scoreless yesterday off the bench yeah. in 24 minutes of game time. Yeah. What you talking about, Gillis? Everybody off Ooh, the bench. What you talking about, Gillis? All different strokes. Where was you at, Gillis? <laughs> <laughs> now, you look at the discrepancies, though. Now, think about this. Purdue had one player besides Edie that was in double figures at 12. Yeah. One player. He had now, 12 or 11? 12. 12. 12. Oh, my God. Now, check this out, yo. AG, Nick, and Rab. Now, look at this. This is Connecticut. Look at the, uh, the uh, uh, just how they did it by, by the, committee. The balance. Okay. Caravan, six. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, five points. Klingham had 11. Spencer had 11. Castle had 15. Uh, Newton had 20. Dara had nine. Johnson had four. The distribution of points was all over the place. And I think there's that point. I think it had more points than I got to update that because I think it was more than that. Yeah, Newton had 20. Yep, 20. He had 20 points. Mm -hmm. uh, 15, 11, 11. You look at the distribution, fellas, and it's no wonder that Purdue got blown out in the second half, man, because – they they, every, they said they basically said, you know, Edie, we're going to let you score as many as you yeah. want, but you're going to be the only one. We're not going to let anybody else beat us. They had, it, Purdue, folks, understand this. Purdue had one other player in double figures, and that was 12. Was that was that one of the most dominant games you guys have seen in the National Championship game in a long time? Hmm. I would say yes. I would say probably going back to the 90s, you know, when you see teams play against each other, UNLV, Duke, mm -hmm. there was domination there in mm -hmm. those those errors. Um, I say most recently, probably mm, maybe Kentucky. Yeah. Of years ago, um, just I say in the two thousands, mm -hmm. and you you have that that dominance because you got a coach that doesn't give. Right. He holds everybody to accountability. You know, accountable of their actions, coaches included, including himself. Mm -hmm. And he's, I mean, he's you know he's a yeller. He's an emotional coach. You saw him on the sideline throughout the tournament, throughout the season. And so his type of play, if he was a player, his type of mindset as a coach, you see it, mm -hmm. it's out on his sleeve. And so it was no surprise. I saw it when I came, when that game came out of second half, I was just telling Rico behind, um, um, off mic here, that about two, three minutes in that second half, 
kept UConn just went to another gear. Yeah. They switched they gears. And, and when I when they switched gears, they knew because they knew what the formula was for Purdue to try to score, and they mastered it. Mm-hmm. So they said, you know what? We just keep doing what we're doing for the rest of the game and then be aggressive like we usually are, right. that we're already accustomed to. We've been mm-hmm. doing it for 38 games already. Yep. Let's go. And that's what happened. You mentioned you mentioned the the is this as dominant as we can think about? What about well, last, last year? Seventy six fifty nine. What about last year right. over San Diego State? Yeah. Right. Let me see these real quick. Nick, I'm glad you, you mentioned that. You also have, I think, in like 2018, potentially Jay Wright and Villanova knocked off Michigan. Uh, Michigan. You had uh, Baylor and Scott Drew against Gonzaga. That was kind of a blowout here, as well a few years ago. Here are the past ten years. Last year, seventy six fifty nine UConn. Kansas went 72 69 over North Carolina in 2022. 2021, as you mentioned, Nick, Baylor uh, beats the smoke out of Gonzaga 86 70. Virginia uh, beats Texas Tech in 2019 85 77. Uh, Villanova, there's Jay Wright, uh, 79 62 over Michigan. 2017, Carolina went 71 65 over Gonzaga. And 2016, Villanova, Jay Wright again, 77 74. Remind me to talk about Jay Wright in a second, you guys, mm-hmm. too. Uh, then Duke, of course, in 2015, 68-63 for Wisconsin. And then in 2014, 10 years ago, UConn again. I think that's symbolic 10 years ago that uh, they won it again, 60-54 um, to 54 over Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Con- mm-hmm. You guys, let me ask you this. Connecticut, they lose two guys. I think it's uh, Lawyer. And Spencer, because Spencer's a graduate, I think, isn't he? Well, so, so yeah, Spencer's Spencer, graduate, yeah. and then... Um, Oh, Caravan, I think, is Caravan's only a sophomore, I think. Though. Yes. Is Klingon leaving? No, Klingon's only, Klingon's a, sophomore. only a sophomore. He's only a sophomore as well. Caravan, sophomore. I think one, I think their other point guard was a sophomore, I mean, uh, graduate. They have another graduate assistant on that squad, I believe. Klingon's Not sophomore. assistant, but graduate. Oh, who is that guy? Was it, was it, um, Klingon Spencer? Was it Spencer, Castle? Is it Spencer, Castle? Uh, Stefan Castle, freshman. Okay. Yeah, he's young. I mean, they're young. They're, Most of their guys are back. Set, yeah. Most of their guys. Oh, no. We'll take this. Newton Sr. Newton. 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 Maybe back. Because we just never know. Even from a national championship team, you never know. Yeah, what's Spencer's a senior. You never know. So, Who's Spencer's yeah, a senior. Yeah. But you have, yes. that, you have that chance, that carrot out there for a three-peat, which has not been done for, like, UCLA probably. Whoa. So you have that carrot there. You know yeah. what? Jane and, uh, Jane and Ross, freshman, off the bench. They're this young. Year. Yeah, so their four seniors on UConn are Hassan Diara, Andrew Hurley, who got in the last couple minutes of the game, <laughs> mm-hmm. Tristan Newton, and Cam Spencer. Those are their four seniors. Only one junior on the roster, and that's Samson Johnson. Everybody else is a freshman or a sophomore. Yep. Man. Well, they got the depth. You guys see yep. just if it transfers over, right, to the next year. That's it. Yeah. You know, if that they keep that same mindset, the same gameplay, and then you got recruits coming in as well. Yep. To the roster, we don't know who they are. And then we one, we, we and know that, they're good. We know they're going to be good. That one guy they got is only a freshman, right? And yeah. then you know the, the guys that are in high school right now that will be there um, come uh, Diara, thanks, September, October, September of this year. Yep. That's and so, three. and and they the good thing is the biggest thing is going to be for Hurley, and he knows this is the culture. If that culture sticks with those players that are there, freshmen and sophomores, mm-hmm. will they be able to influence the incoming freshmen mm-hmm. to continue? what's been going on absolutely what's been cooking, you know and as long as that well, goes on then you'll be good that, that that part is interesting because then we can we can parlay that into kentucky okay yeah. because i was i was reading articles yesterday talking to folks as well and part of it was that um coach calipari had 81 over his since 29 2009 when he got to kentucky mm-hmm. 81 four or five star recruits in eight seasons, eight of his seasons, he finished with the number one recruiting class. In his seven of the remaining eight seasons, he finished with the number two recruiting class. And in that one other recruiting class, he finished top five. He has one national title to show for it. And part of the reason is the model that he created about the one and dones. It doesn't allow you to create a culture. No. What? It doesn't allow no. you to what do what, exactly what you just said, AG, where it's older guys instilling this thought, this this mindset, the thought process, mm-hmm. the the uh the appreciation of the process in the younger crew. And so when you don't have that, you're basically hitting the reset button every year. Yep. And even if you created the model like coach Cal did, 
it doesn't always work. You can have the greatest recruits as he did every single year. It doesn't always work. You know, to your point, you, you both, you AG and Nick, you're talking about culture. Calipari at Kentucky had a identity. It was the wrong one. His identity was one and done. Great programs, your, your blue bloods will have a culture and they will have an identity. They will have a certain way, just like AG will tell you, there are certain ways that you did things at Nebraska and you were taught the things you did at Nebraska, the characteristics, the mannerisms, the work ethic, et cetera. You were taught that by the guys who were older than you. Go back to Kentucky. If there was no one older than you, there was nothing to teach. So you were always right. one and done. Like you mentioned, Nick, you're going reset over again. That business model, if you want to take it a business model, which college bat sports is a business model now, yeah. it's antiquated, no longer works. Oakland showed that when they bounced their tail out in the first first game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have to have some uh, some senior leadership, some elder statesmen, if you would, in your program to teach the younger guys, this is how we do things yeah. at XYZ University. Yeah. And if you don't have that, well, you're going to have a great recruiting class every year, but you're going to be golfing the moment that uh, the NCAA is over, for, for pretty much the first day or two, you're going to be gone. Because those programs that have a culture, that have identity, they're going to nip you a lot of times. They're going to get you, man. Oh, yeah. Um, and and to just bring it up, because I know you wanted to talk about it, A.D., Jay Wright yesterday. Because now Kentucky... And David from Renew goes, don't forget about talk about Jay yeah, Wright. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, so, so now, now Kentucky, you look at, okay, potential coaches, I potential replacements. It. And you're going to have the resources to, to have, you know, with NIL and all that stuff. You're going to have the resources. However... Dan Hurley put said no. Nate Oates said no. Uh, Jay Wright said on TV yesterday, no. Started a conference. He started it off like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Scott Drew hasn't I'm not said leaving. anything. Yes, exactly. I'm not- <laughs> it's, it's like off of Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Um, I'm staying. Scott Drew hasn't said anything yet, but he was farther down the list. And if he, if Billy Donovan wants the, the task of going back to the college game, he can. Yeah. But think about this, guys. Remember what I what we kind of all said yesterday is it's it felt a lot like Coach Bo Pelini, whereas mm. you you want somebody out, you want somebody out because they're not getting you what you you, you feel like you deserve or earned mm. or what you should have. Yeah. You you figured out a way to push Calipari out the door, and now you're going to go to name number three or four on the list immediately. I'm going to go even earlier than that, Frank Solich. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You were so quick to push out a winning coach, oh. and we have not recovered yet. Mm-mm. AG and Nick Raff, when I was in Lexington a few weeks back, I was t- you know, I was just talking with the locals, and yeah. one guy was adamant, oh, we just need a fresh start. I said, yeah. be careful what, what you, you ask for. for. Be careful. Yeah. That's, be careful. I, that's, that's still the thing about Calipari. I be mean, careful. I mean, the model, I mean, yes, it did not produce national championships in deep tournament runs, but they still were – tournament teams and you know they were competitive squads and you were getting the top players in the country now all of a sudden you're not going to have that most likely you're not going to have the caliber of coach that calipari is i mean i know that it was just one national title but sitting here in nebraska four final fours i take one and four final fours any day over you know so i mean so they they definitely like you said the grass is not greener on the other side and i'm i'm It'll be curious to see how how it all plays out for Kentucky because Kentucky fans are ravenous fans like basketball fans are like Nebraska football fans. So if they hire somebody that's not up to their what they think that they want, I mean, it's it'll it'll get crazy there right away. I will say this though, you guys. Um, there was an article yesterday from one of their local media personalities yeah. and radio. Did you catch it without Nick? Uh, I've seen a lot of I honestly don't know. There was, uh, <laughs> there's been, there has been a lot of, 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 of news about him, but they were saying also, fellas, that he's been awfully hard to work for lately. Mm. Calipari? Yes. Mm. They, one of his assistants went to North Carolina, same job. One of the coaches is completely out of the business, making a, a lot less. Another one went to a, another school, another yep. lateral move. The, the, the reporter broke out there yesterday. I got to find this article for you. He was saying, He's become at I he started becoming at odds with a lot of his own guys that were yeah. leaving him for lower positions or lateral moves to get away from him. Yeah. And they mentioned the game that they had against oh who was they played last year it was 
that he came out and saying, see, look what I did, look what I did. Yeah. So they're saying there's some parts, when you have an ego like his and success like his, sometimes that's part of it, not always, but sometimes it's yeah. part of it. Some of his guys that were close to him saying, I can't work in this environment any longer. Yeah. So, you know, that's always something to be, you know, to look into as well. Another so, layer. Absolutely. Another layer that's right there. And one thing that, our, that Kentucky's got to be leery of right now, Arkansas is not going to have a lack of money. You got Jerry Jones, an alum of Arkansas. You got the Walton family, Walmart, that's an alum of uh, of Arkansas. Money, and he mentioned money and IL. They said that, that thing is up to, can be up to close to $8 million right now, 6 yeah. to $8 million looking at right now. Mm. Because they said money's not going to be an issue. Not a problem, Ark. Not going to be an issue. So they're saying you got some of the guys that are at Arkansas that were thinking about flipping that he wanted to keep or thinking, wait a minute, maybe I might I, stay. I would also say this, guys. Um it hasn't. I haven't seen where it's been confirmed. We haven't had an official statement from universities yet. Yeah. From one through all of this, through that article that you just referenced, through it all, he can't go back. He can't go back. No. He, <laughs> he needs this to work. That's so. That's... So why why is it almost taken forty eight hours now to settle on? He had to walk his dog yesterday. He did. <laughs> but but why? What what's what's taken so long? Is it the nil? Is it the 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 salary per year? Yeah. What what's what is the holdup here? Yeah. Because if you're Arkansas, also in this transfer portal day and age, it's he's here on Monday. Higher, he's there. Going. He's getting going. And let's go. Da- let's go talk about the transfer portal. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, that's not the case right now. No, it, yeah, it, that is interesting. It is interesting. There, it has been the four, uh, you know, two sleeps and these whatever official contract or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, folks. It is the new day and age of college sports. That's for sure. Interesting to talk about again. UConn, for the second year in a row, is your national champion, defeating Purdue last night in a game that got sideways in the second half, 75-60. to 60. When we come back, folks, we got some history in the top of the hour. AG, we're talking to the folks. We're talking some Husker football, but also who are your top three Nebraska quarterbacks of all time, whether you watched them or not? Who are your top three? Because in this discussion of Kalen, Riola, uh, Heinrich, et cetera, who are your top three and why? Let us know. We'll discuss that, folks, when we come back. It's The Drive, 93.7 Ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozen. Education is a cornerstone to building a strong, vibrant community. I voted for the historic increase in funding for education in the legislature. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local business owners and understand the valuable role of education in our community. This is Carolyn Bozen, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th, paid for by Bozen for Legislature. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. An afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hog Wild do the cooking. Hog Wild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com.
Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey, Husker Nation. Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you're passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Spring is here, and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation Team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time, on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, 
Go Big Red! Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. Now back to the drive with AD, Rath, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Tuesday. History, AD? History? Start it off, my man. Start it off. Ooh, I get to start it off? Yes, you get to start it off. Ooh, little forgot, pressure here. My laptop. 1959, <laughs> the Boston Celtics win their 13th NBA championship. Not bad. Not bad. In 59. However, Goodness, that's this would be the first of the Boston Celtics eight straight title run mm. wow mm. Mm. so connecticut that's what you're going for yep there it is well just speaking in that raf you're talking about the title runs man it was seven straight that uh john wooden had 67 uh between 67 and 73 john Wooden. that's just ridiculous the think wizard. about something like that man seven straight in stage championships mm -hmm. it's just something Quite honestly, in this new day and age of college sports, I don't think we'll ever see that. I can't say ever, but it's highly unlikely. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Yeah, man. You know, all the factors that are now into play. Yes. At the collegiate level, what you can do, you know, it's, yeah. it's semi-pro pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, and also mm -hmm. the game is played and officiated differently. Yeah, oh, different yeah. rules, yep. right? Three-point yeah. line or clock was, wasn't in, mm -hmm. wasn't around in. Yep. Certain um, in-the-paint rules, stuff like that. Guys are 7-5. Seven foot four now, right? Couldn't dunk back in the UCLA days. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. And then that's why the that's where the hook came from. Yeah, yep. that's where the hook came from. Ag, what you got? Oh man, I'm looking at a couple of things here. Uh, for video games, 1985, mm -hmm. the Pac game, the game. Well, not no, Pac Man was already out. Darn right? it. <laughs> 1985 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just the game came out. This is how they were so creative back then. The game was soccer. That Are you was serious? Six -bit. Soccer. <laughs> it was just soccer. It was eight bit. That's all you got. Yeah, you know, basic graphics. It was the same graphics because it was Nintendo that created a game that I love to death. It was a ten yard fight. If y'all, mm, oh, yeah. I remember that game. Ten yard you remember, fight. You remember the beat when you ran the ball? Oh man! Anybody remember that in here? Uh huh? Uh -uh. It would go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> why you're breaking out on a long run and no matter yes. no, there was no long runs over 50 you got caught it does, didn't matter how fast your running back was he was gonna walk, get, get walked down <laughs> you know they made you work in the red zone <laughs> you know and then red from zone a, efficiency right and then from an esports standpoint 2003 the first electronic sports world cup took place in Poitiers, france hmm it was 358 persist per participants, 37 countries, and a prize pool of 150,000 euros. So the first World Cyber Games was then held in Seoul, Korea in 2000. And the first uh, FIWC took place in Switzerland in wow. 2004. $163, There you go. That's something that crash pass over to America. Now you, yep. got, now you got AG running tournaments with eight, in participating tournaments. You get a million bucks. Yeah. It shows you. Is right. that the, the one that was at, uh, you know, is that the union usually? Or is that one going to be a million dollar prize? Are you, are <laughs> you not working that up? I looked at AD like, not yet. Bro. <laughs> are you, are you, I can't wait for the national ones. Are you ponying up? Is it even a hurricane? 60 bucks on a gift card. 60 dollars on a gift card. So you're going to get raising case. So we had, to, we had to push it to next week for the Madden tournament. Okay. So it'll start next Tuesday, yeah. 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., excuse me. 
Um, but sixty dollars is the there. most you can win on a on a on a Visa <laughs> card. There you go. <laughs> but you can play against me and a few other uh, players around us, uh, the the city of good old Lincoln and many college students that that pop in there <laughs> that want to get their uh, lunch and dinner money for the week. Basically, they you have all these people coming down yeah. next Tuesday. I thought it was a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. I, million? Well, I meant sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, you got the yeah. wrong six yeah. figures. Yeah. Well, I'm, like, hey, I'm like million. I say, like, yeah. Hey, if EA sponsors the thing, <laughs> they come in full board. Here we go. I could maybe talk. About, I got time for NCAA. Maybe I could talk. About, wait, we got about hey, six, we got seven months to negotiate something. No, big. no, no. We have an expected release date. Oh, we do. It's July 19th. Nice. July 19th. So, got, mm-hmm. so I'll be taking off the 19th, 20th, and 21st. <laughs> May, June. What Jack, Jack, Jack we got, we got O Street. Four months, Nick? Yeah. Months, yeah, give months, or take. Give or take. Three. Three. Three months. So three yeah. months there. Three months and ten days. A 25 is dropping. And I, like I said, I have enough time. I have a guy. I have a good friend there um, at EA. I could pick in his ear, hit him up, and see like, hey. We got we got some time. Can we? What, what can we do here? Yeah, mm-hmm. here on campus, do a weekly thing where we got college students and everybody else that wants to jump in of over eighteen and come have some fun with a game that everybody's been waiting for for a decade. Yeah. Now, so. Oh, come. big thing of smoke just went Ooh. down. That's crazy. Oh, damn! The dude just walked through it. Wow, dude, that's a lot of smoke. That the window was, gets crazier over there. One, uh, Folks, just to let you know, wow, what's going, let yeah. you know what's going on here across yeah. the street. How, how are you supposed to drive through it? The, uh, they're building uh, a Hampton Inn hotel. They're gutting out an older building in there. Um, yeah, it was something big, just fell, and it's, it's a ton of smoke. Eight on O Street. Yeah, right be now. careful shout if you're driving down O Street right now. About sh- nine and ten. Shout out to the equipment that they're using. It's uh, Sunbelt Rentals, friends of the station. Nice yeah. Sunbelt Rentals. There you go. Uh, yeah. You think about that Always black the car that's parked right there when they come back out. <laughs> They could be like, what happened to my ride? Yeah, 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 yeah. We literally can't even see the car right now. No, that's yeah, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah, be careful if you're driving down 9th and 10th. Yeah, don't be I got to record fast. this and say they wanted all the smoke. Man. <laughs> oh, I, man. You can, if, if you're on the, the video wow. stream, you can see it going across. Oh, my car. Don't get dirty. No, uh, get dirty. Car on the yeah, I, got, I, got, I got a new car. There we go. <laughs> yes, we got the smoke going across. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, that car right there is going to oh, come out. And be like, we what? can see again. Well, wow. And then that, then that white one that's right across there has got covered in it too, man. Yeah, that white one. That one's a lot of leaves. That's where the guy was walking. But you know what, fellas? Yeah, the dude about was this. walking in his suit. All right, I yeah. know. And he got all dusty. Well, Good you think morning. about it. They do have the red tape around there, letting you know there are going to be some things yeah. going down. So you kind of park, park there. there. No I would way. Not park there. Bro. Nope. Not Even, at all. Uh, dust or not, I'm like, that's not. That's an inconvenience right there. Man, that is something that's right there. Problem. Wow. That's wild. What you got, well, AD? I tell you what, speaking of uh, dust, there was a lot of dust that was uh, that was going down with Nebraska. This was back in April 17, 2004. Husker fans give $15 million in cash and pledges towards stadium expansion. 37.5% of the $40 million goal set by athletic director then uh, Steve Peterson. He says, I'm pleased with it considering what we've been through. University of Nebraska Lincoln Chancellor Robert Perlman said Friday, I don't think that's the end of it. Uh, it is the first word of contributions from NU officials since Peterson and Perlman announced plans for the $50 million facility on November 6th. Check this out. Since then, Husker Nation has been through a range of emotions with the firing of head coach Frank Solich and most of his staff and the hiring of former Oakland Raiders coach Bill Callahan to take Solich's place. That worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> there was massive chaos going on. Think about the dollar figure. $50 million at the time that we're talking about with the new expansion project. How many millions, guys? Now? Now, two hundred and fifty million, yeah. something it's like over, that. It's over a hundred million. Yeah, that might have. four times that amount now. Uh, what they're trying to get raised to for this new expansion project uh, to see what that takes place. So that is history. A lot of things have taken place uh, since then, for sure. Birthdays, Rafi at all? Oh yeah, I got a birthday here. Armando like this one. Mm, okay, today would have been Curly Lambeau's birthday. Oh, Armando right. had a few touchdown runs yeah. there at Lambeau Field yeah. in mm-hmm. Green Bay. Yeah, born mm. in 1898. And with the Masters hey. coming up, today would have been Sevi Ballesteros' birthday. Mm. Gotcha. Born in 1957. Mm. Oh, okay. Sevi. Cool. Sevi. Sevi. Folks, when we come back, we're going to talk about quarterbacks. Who you got? Ooh. 9.7 to take a drive. Mm-hmm.
If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Acting high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And acting high around 70. I mean, your all is Kyle Fleck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals and everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Spring is here and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. 
Gaina Trucking is hiring CDL Class A and B drivers. Gaina Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round. And their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gaina Trucking offers health, vision, and digital insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gaina Trucking. Learn more and apply today at GainaTrucking.com. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today. A powerful force for good that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. Hour 2 is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Real quick, Nick, so I don't forget, man, Nebraska's got a a big game tonight at KU. Heck yeah. 6 o'clock p.m. start. Is that on TV? It is on ESPN+. Plus. Oh, I was waiting for you to say Flow Baseball. Baseball. It is on ESPN Plus. Nebraska baseball travels down to Lawrence this Uh-oh. evening, 6 p.m. first pitch. ESPN Plus is the uh, the channel, the subscription that you need for tonight's game. Kansas 15 and 14 on the season. Nebraska 25 and 7. KU has the same record Ohio State has. I'm uh, pretty sure that Nick the mm-hmm. same record. This is one of those games. Again, it goes to those midweek games. Yeah, that you've talked about. We've talked about. I'm going to ask you this real quick before you need the quarterback talk. Nick is. This game here, you never want to – I mean, every game is a must win, but what's the gravity of this game here, man, after after well, what happened on Saturday? Well, Sunday. It's, I mean, here's the thing is is you ha- you're you still playing with a number in front of your name. There's a certain level of expectation that, that you have to play to in a standard, right? And so there was – on Sunday, on Sunday against Ohio State, Nebraska was atrocious in – scoring runners when they got on the base pass. Mm-hmm. Um, they they left a lot of runners stranded uh, on Sunday, and that's a big reason why they lost nine to three. Um, so I think I think when you look at at tonight's game, it's it's the same things we've talked about. Manufacture runs and, and throw strikes, compete, um, get a quality outing from some of your midweek guys that there still are, as we saw on Sunday, some spots open in that that weekend rotation of of whether that's a starter or a rot- uh, bullpen guy. So you're fighting for that if you're if you're a midweek dude. Um, this is a Kansas team that took two of three from a, a third ranked TCU squad earlier in the season, but they've also had some really bad losses. So um, Nebraska going down to Lawrence tonight, six p.m. I, maybe not must win, but there's a certain of expectation, certain set of expectations that you went two and two last week, ranked twenty fourth in the country. Here you are, you moved up a spot to twenty third. Let, let's let's show it that you know you belong. What kind of quad? Victory would this be tonight? Would this be a one quad one, two one three two, three three ish three three type? Because cool. Kansas is probably going to be a program playing in the Big Twelve that they they finish right. a little below five hundred. Um, so it's but it's a road win. 
It's a roadway. Yep, so go. it hurts. Pick that up. Or excuse me, it would help. Yeah, Real quick, a quick correction on that. So Nebraska baseball again on ESPN Plus takes on the Kansas Jayhawks 6 p.m. tonight down there in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, best of luck to the man that they take care of business tonight. Dave from Renew, appreciate it, man. I knew I totally aired on that. $450 million is uh-huh. that new facility expansion. Yeah. Uh, you were yeah. close, 200. Yeah. yeah, 10 times the amount what it was back in uh, uh, 2004. 2004. Absolutely. So Penny a lot change. More than yeah, just details. Details. <laughs> Riola. <laughs> details of $400 million. <laughs> Riola is the one people are talking about the most right now, folks, for obvious reason. Obviously, Danny Kalen in there and uh, Heinrich as well. Uh, that's in that quarterback room. And it helps to have a quarterback's coach. Raph, who are you taking as your top three quarterbacks? Oh, you're going to ask me that first. Well, number one, Tommy Frazier. Number two, Turner Gill. And number three, I've been like going back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to shock a lot of people here. <laughs> I'm going to go with Joe Gans. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Because we didn't say win. We said we weren't saying wins hmm. and championships. But, but just the way the offense was commanded and the way the offense ran, okay. I thought that Joe Gans ran the offense efficiently. And so for his time that he was the starter, I thought he played the best. Joey Gans. Shocked a lot of people there, I know. C- considering, <laughs> considering I was born in 01, I'm going to refrain from a list. But, I, I mean, I, I would have the same top two of, of Tommy and, and then Turner. Yeah. I would you ask can you, go so many different ways. I would ask you guys this. Like, where does Scott Frost fall on here? Not the player, there. Not there. Okay. Despite despite a title. Well, and, and real quick. I mean, Crouch 2-3. I mean, I put Crouch at 3-2, but. Mm-hmm. Hmm. AG, that third one is tough, but I'm with you there. What well, what are what are your so th- my so, first two yep. are the same? Okay, first two Tommy TG, um, but that third one, man, it's it's I got guys I played with a few, I played with one for sure, and then I watched the younger few from Martinez, um, and a few other guys Armstrong, watched them play strong here, but it's that third one's tough. It's tough because because I'm looking for a standard, right, and mm-hmm. I'm trying to see. Let me just stop meandering around this question here and just give an answer here. So, uh, <laughs> I would say, I would say it's a flip of a coin between Frosty and, uh, gotta say, uh, uh, Eric Crouch. Okay. Let's I'll go to the there. phone line. We got a phone call. We got Mike on the Honda League and Hotline 402 464 5685. Mike, appreciate uh, the call. What's on your mind? make a case that I would switch Chris's uh, one and two uh, in in different order. Okay. And I guess it gets down to most valuable or best player. But I was in college, and I'm telling you, in 1981, we were one and two and down to Auburn at halftime, and we got booed off the field. Mm. And uh, they put in Turner Gill. First time I believe he saw action the whole season so far. He came out, we scored 17 points in the second half against Auburn. The next week we set a big eight total offense record. And I mean, he was the only difference. Hmm. And we were a completely different team and ended up playing for the national championship. And when we were one and two and down to Auburn at halftime, we were thinking, hey, we're not even going to have a winning record this huh. year. And he was the only difference. Tommy Frazier was amazing, but we won without him. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Much, yeah. Appreciate, oh, appreciate the phone call, man. That, that's yeah, great knowledge, too, Sean, that, because that, it, it, he's correct on that. I mean, yeah, I could see that. And I, in Turner, <laughs> think about it this way. If Turner doesn't get, I believe, he, the nerve damage in his leg and is able to play against Clemson in that game, mm-hmm. Nebraska – maybe wins the national championship against Clemson that year because 81. they got beat 22 to 15 with backup mm-hmm. quarterback. So it's, it's crazy. And then you go 82 bad call at Penn state. That wasn't a bad call. It was an atrocious, horrendous call. It was an atrocious call. <laughs> Nebraska ends up, Nebraska ends up going undefeated that year. That's mm-hmm. two in a row. And then you might be looking at three in a row. So yeah, I, 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 I agree with Mike. I, I see where you could make that argument for Turner being one Tommy too, but I, I still have Tommy as my number one, not just number one best quarterback in the 
the history of Nebraska football. I have him as the number one best player in the history of college football. He's still mm-hmm. my number one. Hey, um, it do? We we got a couple of uh, suggestions on the on the text line 402-464-5685. Feel free to send yours in. Vince Ferragamo. Mm-hmm. We yeah. got uh, Brooke Beringer on here we, as well. We definitely got to mention Jerry Taggy. And the only reason yep. why I didn't, See, I didn't my, bring it up. That was almost my number three was Taggy. Okay. And it's just because yeah. I just, I never saw him play live. I guess that's probably would be the detriment for me, mm-hmm. for him. Just, I did not see him, but I could, I definitely could have Taggy at number three. I mean, he's two mm-hmm. national championships, but he also too, back in those days, Van Bronson and him were kind of going back and forth a little bit too. So I'm trying to think of just like simply, for the 2000s folks, my like myself, the quarterbacks we've seen, it's been Zach Taylor, Zach Lee, Sam Keller, Taylor Martinez, Tanner Lee, Armstrong, Tommy Armstrong, Adrian Martinez. Uh, I mean, you got the the spot guys like Riker Fife in there and stuff. If you take away the I mean ankle injury from Taylor Martinez, he's probably I would I would be, agree. I mean, Taylor Martinez probably hurt Anc- his ankle ankles and turf toes. Insane. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it. Here's my three. Nick, we'll think about yours. My three: Tommy Turner, Steve Taylor. Yep, you can go, Steve. Yep. I'd go. Steve, I could do yeah. that because you know what I'm. Because you know what I look at now. Granted, with it, you know, like I said, Tommy didn't have the arm those guys had, but you're talking about just command uh, as a freshman to come in and command it like that. It's Frazier, but Steve could throw and run. Yep. Yeah. All American. Yep. Um, Turner Gill, of course, t- to me is that was the best purest passer in my life that I saw. Mm-hmm. Now I can't go to Ferragamo. I can't go to uh, tagging yeah. those guys, but. Uh, Turner threw the ball. I mean, it was just ridiculous the type of ball he had. Yeah, and he could run the option and throw it. Yeah. Hey, he need a picture. We don't we don't lose. No. <laughs> now I'm gonna yeah, throw, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a throw another one out yeah. there, man. That I, I that, that I would throw if we had a five. Yeah, Gary right. Godowski. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry was a bad then, boy, uh, man. Keith and McCann. Keith and McCann. He started. Yeah, absolutely. We, we had a good yeah. uh, lineage of quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah, we had a, good, we had a great we run. We wasn't a pass in school, right? Exactly. It exactly. was incredible to think about. Right. We was a not a passing school. No. We no. were known for what we did, running the ball. Absolutely. Putting out O-linemen and then putting out defensive players. So it's just interesting to see that. Who's your three, Nick? It's It's got to be uh, Tommy and Turner, like we talked about. And then three, I'm going to go Eric Crouch. You see. Yeah, and yeah. you can't go wrong there. I mean, no. he won a Heisman Trophy. Yeah, and, no. Yep. And he was, he was productive. I think probably what hurts Crouch a little bit is just coming from that – those years of winning the national title, and then he didn't, you know, exactly. he didn't have that success of what Tommy and Scott had had. So I think that hurts him a little bit. But I mean, still, you, you won a Heisman Trophy. I mean, for, for goodness gracious, insightful dude. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, Brooke. It can't, it's hard. You can't forget Brooke Barringer, yeah. pure pastor. Matt yeah. Hoppit, Ben Barricamo, thirteen fifty. Ron Kellogg to third. Big Ty says Kellogg for one game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> for one play, Ron Kellogg to third. <laughs> and you can't forget about the throw, God. <laughs> oh uh, yeah that's right that's right i missed that one. Oh, oh the throw god I, I why do i always forget his name oh because he committed what was his name number one number one recruit one of the number, yeah bill callahan recruited him he was like number one recruit he ended up i think his career one for was, ten how did he get that nickname what was his name because he, he has a show he has like on Instagram. social media he, now kinda, yeah, oh, yeah he's, show, he's called the in his show called the throw guy yeah you know, it's, it's interesting oh my why god. do i forget his name somebody help me here Somebody text in. Who's the throw god? Please. Oh, I can't think of that. Harrison, Harrison Beck. Beck. Harrison Beck. Thank you. Yeah. Insightful Beck. dude. Oh, You're the man. Harrison Beck. Harrison yeah. Beck, the throw god. Yeah. Mm. Insightful dude. Also, Matt Term, the Terminator. 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 Yeah, number X. three. Number, yeah, number three is probably a revolving door. Yeah, yep. I would agree. Of, of players. Monty Cristo. Monty. Yeah. Yeah, those are my guys. Like Monty. <laughs> Rex Burkhead. Frankie London. Rex Burkhead. Rex Burkhead threw a lot of passes uh, yeah, as a running back. back. Fast as a running back. They, 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 they used him as a, as a passer quite often. Yeah. yeah. I forgot uh, about I, for, I totally forgot about never, that, Nate. You never, you never have, that. You, know, you never have a running back throw a ball nowadays, but. Very rare. Very rare. <laughs> I got one in the league. I got oh, yeah? actually two. I was I'm 50% in touch. Donald Driver helped me out. Donald Driver. Donald Driver. Donald, what a name. I threw one up for him. He's like, AG, if you throw it to me. I got you. So I threw it a little high, uh-huh. knowing that he was an Olympic high jumper, and he could out jump the DB. So he helped me out. We're in Detroit for that game too. Wow! <laughs> How many Lambo leaps did you do? Over twenty. Nice. <laughs> did you get a lot of beer spilled there, on you? Huh? Did you get a lot of beer spilled all on the, you? All the freaking time. Yeah. Well, was there a lot of times where it's like, yeah, right down worth, the middle, like, of my like, back. This, like this ain't worth it because people just don't leave you, don't let you go. 
No, it, 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 it's, and it's the women. <laughs> well, they don't let you go, and they're grabbing well, on everything. I, I was about to ask you. When did I say you, everything. Did you feel, assault, did you feel assaulted? They, yes. <laughs> they, the women are worse. Because these the guys, the guys are guys, right? Yeah. Like, they just want to hold you. Right? Yeah. The women, no, they're like getting... They get they're free grab. <laughs> wow. And then that, on top of that, then the Bud Light is because Bud, Bud Light's the sponsor of Labo Field. <laughs> Bud Light, the going down the back of my Oh, I'm like, oh. Hey, you got, you got dudes that ain't even score and taking the Lambo League. Right. <laughs> Down Dockers. Right. I was like, man. I was like, man. That's awesome. So, yeah, it got, it got interesting. It yeah. got interesting in Lambo Field. Oh, jump and jump man. in the stand. And I'll say the ladies, boy. Ooh. It didn't matter the age either. It'd it's, be grandma. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I look back like, oh my god, well, you're 80. Was, was there ever a point where you didn't get the leap? You you, you missed the jump? No, we got. I always, got in every got time the jump. because we would, you know, it's play, play, teammates. They yeah. would harass you, especially yeah. when I came back. So when I left 07 to Houston, I came back in 09. I found out that the wide receivers started basically doing like the Olympics do for diving. Yeah. They were giving you like a 10.0, a 9.0. Oh, they started g- grading you. Grading you. <laughs> They're like, bro, you're, you're, your form going up in the stands, you were like a five. I'm like, dang. <laughs> I'm like, y'all not even good above seven right now? I mean, they were critiquing hard. It was Greg Jennings, Jim Jones, uh, James Jones, and then uh, Jordy Nelson and a few other yeah. guys. They were, they, they took it to another level and I liked it. But I'm like, y'all, but y'all grading hard. <laughs> y'all giving out fives? Like, uh, what, what, what constitutes a 10 that's in awesome. Lambo League? That's awesome. I'm like, that's amazing. That's awesome. All right, Rappy, send us away, All right, man. we'll throw it a break. This is The Drive, 93.7, the ticket. The Freaks of Lambo. <laughs> runs like a well-oiled machine it's important that your actual machines do too stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that they provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels lubricants and equipment guard options and with stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come contact roger at stern company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co stern company where problems meet solvers Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Early break with Sip and Jake. I called. You didn't return the call. Oh, yeah. Called a couple times yesterday. No, nothing. Ooh, I, but I did try to hold it. I called Crickets. first. And then I got this. I don't know where Sip was if you're in the bathroom. <laughs> I get the. He goes, he has to go. Hey, hang tight. I'm right right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. I'm like, well, why are you whispering to me? He said it just like that. Hey, uh, sit tight on that one. I'm, uh, I'm righty right now. And I'm like. Dude, can you in the us, bathroom or what? Where are you at? Can you give us the, the scoop where, of what happened? Yeah, there, where Sip. were you when I called you? Because I did call you back. <laughs> Hang tight. Hang tight. I'm, I'm ready. Early break with Sip and Jake from 6 to 8 every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402 402- 560-6197. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. The Captain for Sean Jackson. 
Mike Minner, what's up, bro? When you look at Dylan, you're looking at quarterbacks that kind of come around once every 20 years. And this is a kid I'm looking at, I don't know how old he is, 17, 18 years old. And he is already directing things that a 17, 18-year-old kid should not even know. Changing line protection. Okay, guys, I don't know where we've been two weeks of practice. Come on, man. Well, we got guys in the National Football League that can't do that. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car and your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. You're spending $300 a month. Binge drinking is the most common form of excessive drinking, which costs the United States more than $191 billion each year. By drinking less, you will save $300 a month. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment. For baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment. And 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts. By also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on on the spot. Played against sports at 48th and Vine. Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket. Okay, playing 93.7 The Ticket. Alexa, turn down the lights. Dimming the lights. Alexa, order a pizza. The big one. All the toppings. Are you sure that's a good idea? Alexa. That's a lot of pizza for just one man. Alexa, just do it. Stop judging me, just do it. As you wish. Thanks, Alexa. You're my best friend. 
spring is here and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raff, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Tuesday. Just noticed that Coach Matt Rule is going viral right now. Albert Breer posted his um, comments about Bill Belichick from the coaches clinic on, I believe that was Saturday, and Adam Schefter retweeted it. So they're up to like 787,000 views right now about Bill Belichick should have, probably have a coaching job in the NFL this year. So I mm. thought that was interesting. Mm. There you go. Boom. You just need a little little push, right? Always good to see that Nebraska emblem going viral. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I you mean. guys and, and think about you think about Belichick. He can be you think about this, AJ. You you you've been in the league for a long time, you've been around, played against him, he's coached against you, etc. Mm-hmm. He's 72 years old. Okay. 71, 72. What's a, if you're in his shoes? What's going to be the fit for you? What are you looking for in an organization? Uh, well, you got to look at his background, right? He's always has been the mastermind on defense and kind of controlling, not controlling, but account accountability is high. And he mm-hmm. holds you to it no, by, no matter who you are. Mm-hmm. There's a standard. Because remember, when he was at New England, Tom Brady, for the guys that were on that squad, for, uh, Seymour through the years, like no matter what, he treat, treated everybody the same and talked to everybody the same. So he's got to find a a team, an NFL team, if it's an NFL team. I, don't, I mean, I, college, that's that can happen, but I don't know. But for an NFL team, you got to find that fit of – because I don't think he's going to adjust a whole lot, I believe. He's going to be who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, I say I would say the adjustment part because it's younger players. Yeah. And you got to got to learn that language. Mm-hmm. As a coach, even if it's not your with the language you grew up knowing, the the way the talk in right. the locker room, the talk in the meetings, yeah, it wasn't what you would start where you started, but mm-hmm. now it is what it is today. So I don't know if he can adjust to that to make it work. He was going to have to have some OCs, DCs that can translate for him, basically. But a team that's going to want him, or, or say team where he could go in and fit in, is basically a team that they understand what they're about to get. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, he won't adjust. He doesn't need to just, he has the yeah. the street credit. Yeah. He has the resume yeah. to come into the building and say, hey, if you do this, this, and this, we're going to win. Got a lot and of rings. He has a lot of rings. So that right there is going to say to an organization, like, and the players, for the players, they're like, all right, we know this guy is a winner, but can we get the buy-in? Mm-hmm. Is there going to be buy-in? Generation so that's, challenge. So that's going to be the challenge of an NFL team bringing him in. And right now he's not on the team now, and we still we're in mini camp. We're almost in mini camp mode. We're getting ready for draft here in a few weeks, and so I would think he would have been somewhere because right. this is a big part of being a new head, new coach coming in, regardless if you're new or old, because you're already setting your stage, you're say setting yourself up for training camp. Mm-hmm. Mini camp is just kind of like a tryout period and testing to see. Oh, okay, we got these rookies in, we got first year players in. Let's just poke them and see how they look, mm-hmm. how they verbalize, how they processing information. Then training camp is it. Yeah. So right now he's not there. So that's it, it says a whole lot. So he may not. I'm not saying he won't. I'm just mm-hmm. saying right now may not be on a um, be a, be a head coach for the 2024 season. 24 Keep your or 25. Eye out also for Washington, um, the Huskies. If they get that pass to where advisors can help coach out, mm. his um, son know Steve that. that's huge. is there in Washington right now. Mm. I could foresee. Bill Belichick going as an advisor at University of Washington this mm-hmm. year and being an advisor for the Huskies. You know, you think that'll be big help right there. I could see him as an advisor in that in, in somewhere that or capacity. Consultant, consultant. Consultant. Yep. 
I'm not saying it's impossible. I couldn't see him coaching at the college ranks. No, not with him going to money. The players and him would lose their mind. Oh, you know, he go, <laughs> hey, coach, how much money we get? Well, you, yeah. you, you can come here and play and football. The, and the, you can do, you can play the ball sports here, director will lose their mind. Yeah. Too. Yeah, you know, the PR yeah. will lose their mind. They'll be like, "Hey, hey, Bill, can you just work with us?" I'm not going. On yeah, that. I'm not. But the thing that. though, too, is <laughs> he also he also has two personalities though. True. Like, yeah. He used he used his like one personality a lot with the Patriots. But if you've seen him before, him and his well, fiance broke up and stuff the, out on the boat and stuff yeah. like that. He he also can be more personable true, when he wants. True. Yeah. And when, he, saying, when he's working, saying, he's working. Right. I'm not saying he can't be yeah. that person, but not when he's in the locker room and he's in the facility, yeah, that's as a player, you yeah. rarely get to see that part. Yeah. 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 You got to like be the a only ones that really did or like, you know, right. Randy Moss, when they invited him to the Halloween party and stuff, he showed like that different side. Yeah, of them. And mm-hmm. that's what you want to see as a player. Yeah. You want to see that. And that, that helps you with buy in as a player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so very rare guys see yep. that mm-hmm. unless very close or Hall of Fame level guys exactly. that was around him. Or you just get to that that conversation level with the coach, and you and that's just time. Yeah, because yeah. you know I came in. I remember coming here as a freshman, just getting used to being around Coach Alcorn every day mm-hmm. was not wasn't a like a problem. It was just like okay, you know, I'm getting it. And I'm like, then once I saw him start cracking jokes, and mm-hmm. when he would run the film yeah. of a clip the Husker Vision put together of us or him laughing at yeah. stuff that you never thought he would. Then yeah. I'm like, all right, he's yeah. a cool dude. Yeah. But it, it, but yeah. it's as a coach, you, you got to know how to plan that out. You got that's part of your goal yeah. sheet, right? That's part of setting goals because part of winning is knowing the players you are coaching. Yep. Right. And knowing who they are on and off the field. Absolutely. So basically, you have that down, then you're going to have a successful program. Yeah. Yeah. It was, that's, that's, it'll be interesting to see where he ends up at, man. He can definitely take his pick. He's kind of like our modern day Parcells, you know, um, you know, just, you know, a lot less of, curse, curse words. Yeah. A lot less words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. At least, like Bill told you straight, but he said it in a way that you knew it was like, man, are you happy or mad? At <laughs> like, I don't know. I've had teammates that play for him. They were like, man, you didn't know it's way he was going, but. A couple f bombs. You might have thought you were his best friend, or you he hated you. <laughs> he wasn't sure. It you was were, one of the other. Yeah, it was one of the other. <laughs> All so. the coaches that been around Hastings have always been like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Just yeah. joking. Yeah. To wasn't like that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> except to, except yeah. for to, <laughs> except for to. Those Hastings Broncos coaches. I tell you what. Oh man. Anybody from Hastings, Pete Ferguson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is he? And Rap is the nicest I mean, guy know he knows. Oh, <laughs> come on. Must not know a whole lot of people. <laughs> All right, Rappy, send us away. Wow. I, yeah. Hey, yeah, we're going to throw it to break. Just the drive, 93.7, the ticket. At Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice 8-ounce bacon wrap sirloins for $3.99 each. USDA Choice Tri-Tip for $9.99 per pound. One dozen large eggs for $1.98 when you purchase two. And 24 packs of Miller Lite or Coors Light for $15.99 with the purchase of two. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Door. Spring is here, and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go B! 
Big Red. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a Swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Attention all Wings fans! 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. An afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about Atomic Diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Are you ready to take your seating season to the next level? Now's your chance with Landmark Implements Early Order Program. Don't miss out on the best deals of the season on new John Deere air seeders and drills, including the N500C Central Commodity System. Experience the ease of operation with the new N500C's intuitive design, simplifying your seating process and saving you valuable time in the field. Lock in the largest cash discount, snag the best financing rate, and ensure availability on a new drill. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. You're spending $300 a month. Binge drinking is the most common form of excessive drinking, which costs the United States more than $191 billion each year. By drinking less, you will save $300 a month. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a Call today at 
888-888-5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. This segment is proudly sponsored by Foyles Italian Restaurant and Grill, just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road. Yep. Foyles Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit FloriallsNE.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Got it. Boom. Got it. Boom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, everyone. Today's Raph's Good Take goes out to the University of Connecticut Huskies and the South Carolina Gamecocks basketball programs. I will say this. It has been so refreshing to watch these two teams play, the unselfishness of both teams, the way they've been coached, uh, the way the players have not, you know, and I, I hate to say this generation, but it seems like you always have to have that one star player. It seems like these teams have all, step back to play as a team, to play as one, and that's where your most successes came. So congratulations to both these programs, both coaches, Danny Hurley and Don Staley. Yep. You are Ralph's good take. Boom. If you're a young athlete, pay attention yep. mm. to those games, those players, those reactions in a bad moment throughout the season. If you follow them, those, you watch those type of players just to kind of have a template for yourself if you're an athlete. Because that's what that's the mindset you got to have. When mistakes happen, you know what? We'll deal with it on Monday. We'll deal with it on the on the practice film. That's something Coach McCarthy said all the time. You know, don't worry about it in the game. We'll get it fixed on Monday. So have that mentality because it's going to be those situations that's going to um, try to, I say, test your mental all the time. Yes. And you got to have that strong mental to get through it. Those were those were literally lessons, man, that we watched you know, for young players, like you mentioned, these past couple of uh, well, Sunday night, I mean, Sunday afternoon, and last night, as far as that goes. Mm-hmm. So we were definitely had a treat to do that. The AD Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. IOC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska, full time, part time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at IOC.net backslash careers. You know, the lottery just took place. And there was one lucky winner in Oregon for the one ticket was one point three billion, something like that, mm-hmm. Rap. One point two billion. I know nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Over a billion. I know yeah, that. over a bill. <laughs> He'll take home, give or take after taxes, four hundred, five hundred million, give or something like that. He's he's set. But you know what, folks, if you are able, if you woke up this morning and if you can walk and if you can talk, uh, if you're just whether it's a walker, whether it's a wheelchair, if you have a beating heartbeat, you're wealthy. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of people in hospital beds across this state, across this city, that would give any amount to be in your shoes right now. If we have our health in some capacity, we are wealthy beyond comprehension. Uh, there's one of the old um, quotes, and I, whether I think it's just you know just one of those old um, you know urban le- urban myths. Uh, the guy goes, he's talking to his doctor. He goes, I'd give you uh, all my wealth that I own. Very rich man. He goes for one more day in life. The doctor said, I'm sorry. I can't grant you that. Mm. All the money in the world, folks, cannot replace your health. Take care of this thing, your temple, this body you got, because we only get one, folks. So if you have your health, you are wealthy. There you go. Hey, Jeezy? No, I'm good. Just echo everything, what we've been talking about today, and definitely the last two comments from my man Raft to my left here and AD to my right. So pass it off to Nick. All right, everyone. It's a great day outside. Be nice to each other. And we will talk to you tomorrow.
Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship 